Well, since Gary's clock says six o'clock, we will call this special call meeting the August City Council to order. And we'll start with the roll call. Honorable Mayor Fouch. Present. Honorable Vice Mayor Norris. Present. Honorable Councilwoman Hawkins. She'll be absent. Honorable Councilman Adams. Here. Honorable Councilman Dyer. Present. I want to ask Chief Elder to read his invocation and pledge of allegiance. <coughs> Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we are thankful for the blessings that we've received today and each day that passes. We ask you to guide and direct us through each day. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Well, the purpose of this meeting uh, initially was to uh, discuss an award uh, contract for this uh, phase one of the William, Sur uh, William Circle drainage project in the amount of, it uh, looks like the uh, low bidder is uh, GBR construction in the amount of 38972 I'll ask Mr. Tucker to take the mic there and speak to the bids. And Matthew Tucker is uh, one of the engineers that works with the city. Uh, thank you, Mayor. No, got to get it close to your mouth. Oh, I got to get close. Surely y'all can hear me. Um, uh, we opened bids on the uh, drainage project contract 212 on uh, two, at 2 o'clock on July the 19th, which was last Thursday. Uh, we had three responsive bidders, uh, Highways Incorporated, Elk Mount Construction, and GBR Construction and Landscaping. Uh, as, the, as the bid tab uh, shows, uh, GBR was the low apparent bidder at uh, $38,972, followed by Elk Mountain at $59,500, and Highways at $70,500. Um, we, uh, we've not ever worked with GBR before, but I have spoken to uh, Mr. Greg Rigsby, the owner of the company, uh, got several references from him, uh, followed up with those on Friday and Monday, and uh, every uh, reference that I contacted, uh, the scope and the nature of the project was similar in size, and it was all of the references were drainage projects. Uh, they were all located in Brentwood, Franklin area, and uh, all of the references that I contacted had glowing re reviews. They said he was a very good contractor, that he did excellent work. They had, uh, believe it or not, in uh, one of the communities, it had 226 units. I don't know if those are condos, zero lot, but uh, the lady inf informed me that they had zero complaints. Uh, the whole time he was doing the project. So uh, he said that all, all the ones said they were very, oh, I'm sorry, that they were very professional um, in their ways. They got in and got out um, in a very timely manner. So um, I've also spoken to uh, uh, the young man's father that owns the company. Uh, he works with him, but he's also the uh, utilities manager for the city of Brentwood. Um, and had a pretty lengthy conversation with him prior to the bid. So uh, I'm quite confident in GBR's ability uh, to do this project, and I have uh, no reservations recommending that uh, that the city council award uh, this contract 212 to GBR um, uh, for the amount of $38,972 and, and no change. What was your original <coughs> estimate on phase one? On? My original estimate was pretty substantial. It was in the $70,000 range, uh, but I did have that set up with a significant amount of stormwater uh, built into it. We're in the dry weather now, so obviously there's, <coughs> there's a pretty significant portion of that that won't be used uh, because they'll be able to utilize the dry weather at this time of year, not have to do quite as many erosion control measures. Well, that's good news. Um, with your recommendation, I'd move approval of this contract. No, I'll second. Say, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. And uh, this is phase one of a project that we started talking about uh, election or the first meeting that we, we held as a council. So this is uh, the wheels of government. Speed of a slug, I think. We Just only so fast we can go. So. Uh -huh. 
and, two years uh, to get started, but we're doing okay. If if I might expand also uh, just to elaborate on elaborate on something that the chief had asked me to follow up on, I know there had been some question because we're starting this project what seems like middle of the road. Uh, the project eventually will go from uh, north of Dry Valley all the way to the William Square drainage structure. Um, and I think there's some question because we're kind of working in the middle of uh, the area between Dry Valley and William Circle. Um, there was some question about whether we could extend toward Dry Valley or toward William Circle to uh, pick up some of those areas. And uh, per the chief, I did follow up with the state and I actually spoke to the lady today. And uh, <clears throat> the reason we're able to do this the way we are now is this particular leg because we're uh, daylight and the, the culvert behind their house that's a that's one kind of permit that the state issues and that is a permit that can be easily uh, gotten by entities uh, utilities and municipalities uh, to actually open up the channel on both ends of this project requires a another type of permit that is a more specialized and more involved permit uh, which takes more time and uh, more effort. So the reason we are starting and working in the middle of this is due to the ability of us to actually get the permits in a timely manner and be able to move forward with the project. So I just wanted to reiterate, I know there had been some question about that, so I just wanted everyone to know that there was some rhyme or some logic behind that. The reason that we were doing what we are doing is because that's what they'll let us do at this time. We will be able to do the rest. It just takes, uh, as you said, the bureaucracy of it just takes a little longer, so. All right, thank you, Matthew. Uh, item number two on our agenda, so we're taking advantage <laughs> of the meeting that we're having here. Um, we did finish out our physical year with about $400,000 uh, revenue in excess of expense. So we're looking at uh, a couple of items. One is, is working on these sidewalks that we talked about and getting them handicapped accessible. And the other one is to advertise and see the cost uh, for a new residential garbage truck. So item number two on the agenda is to consider approval to advertise uh, the request for proposals, basically bids for a new uh, residential garbage truck. It's the one-man garbage truck. So uh, I would move approval that we go ahead and advertise for RFPs. Does not commit us to purchasing a garbage truck. This I'll commits. second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? That motion carries. Item number three, consider approval to uh, disperse the $25,000 insurance check that we received from Progressive Insurance regarding the uh, Lions Club Cook Shack. And it's my understanding as of our last work session that that's, that's the desire of the club is that we disperse those funds. Um, it's my belief and I think the belief of the council that, that uh, you know, your testimony is that you guys built the building and supplied materials and labor and uh, that's my belief that was your building even though it was sitting on our property. So what's morally right and what's legally right is two different things. But uh, I will move that we disperse the entire uh, proceeds of that check. To the Lions Club. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed? That motion carries. And item number four uh, consider approval of ordinance 268 12 on first reading regarding setting compensation for the mayor and council. And uh, Vaughn, if we'll just let you read that article, that uh, ordinance, it's a short one. Okay. It's ordinance 568 12. Uh, Mayor and the Council of the City of All Good hereby ordain an ordinance to set the compensation of the Mayor and the Council under Section 1, whereas Article 2, Section 2.03, compensation as, a, as provided by the Charter of the City of All Good and as amended by Private Acts Number 20, House Bill Number 2359, which provides the City Council by ordinance to approve the monthly salary of the Council by two-thirds vote of the City Council prior to each municipal election. Section 2, whereas the City Council shall set the salaries of those councilmen slash women to be elected for the next four years and shall not be altered prior to the end of the term for which the councilmen slash women was elected. Section 3, whereas the City Council of All Goods shall set the compensation for the mayor at $250 per month and the councilmen slash women at $150 per month. This ordinance, Section 4, this ordinance shall become effective September 1, 2012. Okay, and I understand this is for the next election. Uh, doesn't affect anybody currently sitting. 
unless Ms. Hawkins is reelected, and then her term will start under this ordinance. So uh, I would consider a motion here. I'll make a motion to do that. A motion and a second. Are you a second? Second. Motion, second. All in favor? Uh, let's let's do roll call on this. Mayor Fouch? Yes. Vice Mayor Norris? Yes. Honorable Adams? Here. Yes or no? Said yes. Yes. Honorable Dyer? No. And Honorable Hawkins is absent. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm the one that made the suggestion. That motion carries. We're going to need to do the math, see if we're at two thirds. Um, so it don't work out quite even. So we're at three fifths. Mm -hmm. At least common denominator thing, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, that, that motion will fail. Since we're required to uh, set this salary before the election, do we have an alternative motion on the table? Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> you know, I'm going out of office, but I would like to ask Councilman Dyer why he passed on that, and he's the one that made the motion in the work session to see that. I didn't pass on it, uh, Vice Mayor. I voted no for it, uh, and uh, I did not make that motion in a work session. <clears throat> but I will offer an alternative. Uh, I will offer an alternative in the amount of 200 for the mayor and 125 for council as a motion. So you'd like to amend this, amend this ordinance? Yes, sir. To make the mayor's salary 200. And the council 125. Yes, sir. So there's a motion. Is there a second on that? Second. Yeah. Okay. Motion on the table to amend ordinance 568-12, uh, with the only language change in the mayor's salary at 200 a month and council person 125 a month. Uh, we'll have a or any discussion on that. Good to me. Okay. So we'll take a roll call. Mayor Fouch? Yes. Vice Mayor Norris? Yes. Honorable Adams? Here. Yes. Honorable Dyer? Yes. That motion carries. Uh, anybody from the audience like to speak for the council? I just. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I'm David Norris, Secretary of the All Good Lions Club, and I want to uh, thank the council for uh, the action that they've taken this evening to, to reimburse us for the loss of our cook shack. And uh, we will not be building it back, of course. We'll be looking at other alternatives as fundraisers. But uh, I, again, I want to express the, my appreciation on behalf of the All Good Lions Club for the action that you've taken here this evening. We thank you very much. Anybody else? Members of council administration? There being no further business, I will move adjournment. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Which stand adjourned. <laughs>